decades of covering the light sport, ultralight, home built, and other aspects of the experimental community, we've seen a lot of projects come and go. We saw the advent of the BD5, and we all know how that turned out. We saw ultralights come in. We saw plans built come in. We saw massive kits. We saw the advent of professional kits like the Christian Eagle. We've seen tremendous developments in the industry. In most recent years, one of the things that's really struck home with a new breed of home builder is the fact that there is guidance and expertise and a place where they can go to build their ship in a short period of time with tremendous backup, tremendous expertise, and more important, the comfort of knowing it's done right. Such a program is called Two Weeks to Taxi, and it's a product of the folks who brought you the Glass Air and the Glass Starter. Alan, we walked by this uh, rather startling airplane. Holy smokes, this is quite the piece of work, and now we find out that you are one of the first to go through the Two Weeks to Taxi program. Tell me about it. How did that work? Well, this is actually my very first experience in a home-built airplane. Oh, okay. And in fact, if you would have asked me a year or two ago if I would have been you know, involved in building an airplane, I, I would have thought you were crazy. Mm -hmm. I would have thought I would be crazy. When the two weeks of taxi program became available, uh, I, I, I knew that I had to go through the program. Aero TV is brought to you by... Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, with a love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. Tell me about the two weeks to taxi program and the building process. Um, you look at it, we, we've been over there this morning, I've been watching this program come together over the last year, but this is something pretty remarkable for the industry. It is, it's remarkable, I mean, for, uh, from a customer standpoint, I'm the typical kind of guy that would have never really tackled a kit building project. That's why I went out and bought a flying glass air. Uh, at the time, that's the kind of flying that I thought I wanted to do. And, and quite honestly, uh, before before I started this program, my mechanical ability, I kind of joke around about it, it was sort of limited to knowing the difference between a slotted and a Phillips screwdriver. You know, maybe a little bit more <laughs> than that. But I'm not one of these guys that grew up with a dad who show them how to use tools or worked on cars and things like that. I didn't do a lot of work on my airplane. I changed the oil, things like that. But I was intimidated by the whole process. I didn't want to go out and set up a shop, buy the tools, and do all that preliminary work and then spend a whole bunch of time build, building an airplane. I have a lot of admiration for people who do and we of course still depend on the, upon those customers but for me to go through the project and be able to have people looking over my shoulder setting all the, the parts and the tools up and showing me exactly how to do things it was a fun experience because now I, I have not only have the legal right to maintain and, and sign off the annuals on this airplane, I have a lot more confidence mm -hmm. on being able to understand and know the airplane and, and do a lot of the things that I would have never done before. Well, that's one of the things I admire about this program. I bought a Glass Air 3. I love my airplane, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But the one thing that creates a problem for me is the fact that I didn't build it, so I don't know everything about it. And there's, you know, this happens, that happens, find a mechanic, learn how to do it, whatever the case may be. The intimacy that you can build up with every aspect of this structure has to be tremendously reassuring. Well, you know, working with Ted Setzer and the, and the young mechanics over there who have done it so many times, they teach you how to do things right the first time, so you don't have to go through the frustration of making a mistake, having to buy a new part, and it just was a fabulous learning experience. And, you know, we, we started on, on September 5th, and two weeks later I had an airplane, it was fantastic, started it up and taxied it around. And I basically had a flying airplane in under 30 days because the, the second two weeks was just the final safety checks, the weight and balance, and waiting for the FAA inspector to come out and, and uh, sign it off. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. 
why this airplane? Well, I have been working for the company as the as a sale in the sales department, and I'm the primary demo pilot. And I've had a chance to fly the company Sportsman for probably close to 400 hours. And over that time, I've fallen in love with it, as well as so is my wife. And uh, that's always a good thing. It is a good thing. <laughs> um, it, it just it just became the ideal airplane for me, and so it just was a, a combination. You know that that had to happen when I when I was able to go through the program and come up with this airplane because to me it's a Swiss Army knife of airplanes. It is it, you know about it, but it, mm -hmm. uh, maybe the viewers don't. It's so capable in so many different regimes and so many. It goes fast. It can go slow and all that, and uh, it's comfortable. Uh, so I just felt like you know this was the ideal airplane and the ideal way for me to obtain the airplane is to go through this program. You know I wanted to. Uh, always had a dream of going airplane camping mm -hmm. and uh, my wife loves to camp and so we built this airplane and now that's what we use it for as well as going cross country to visit family in California. We've been on two camping trips this year already to Idaho, uh, just absolutely beautiful country that we just couldn't get into with a, with a glass air or with a number of other types of airplanes that we might have considered owning. Outstanding. Alan, thank you so much for your time and a peek at what you did here and once again, congratulations. It's a, it's a work of aerial art. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jim.